Good morning, everybody. Good morning. My name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. YouTube channel. It's Thursday morning. Good morning. Um, it's been raining here in Rochester. Um, I felt really cold this morning. I heated the flat up for about 15 minutes and now it's it's warm and I've got my t-shirt on. That's what's going through the menopause is like. It is cold because it tells me it's cold on the temperature. But if I put the heating on, I just feel like I'm overheating and I'm in a oven and I start sweating. So I had a jumper on, changed it to a t-shirt. Um, so yeah, the weather is wet and dismal. Uh, it's dark. When I got up, I thought it was about six o'clock and it was eight o'clock. So, you know, it's a miserable day. And what you try and do in this weather is try and keep yourself um, happy, which is hard. But there you go. So, good morning, everyone. Got a cup of lemon tea because I'm. I'm told that it's the coffee that's giving me outrageous heartburn. So we're going to um, just cut down the coffee and drink some tea. Alexa, good morning. Oh, it's on low. I've got the volume down low. Can't hear anything. It's typical, isn't it? Alexa, good morning. Good morning. On this day in 1947, US Air Force Captain Chuck Yeager became the first person to fly faster than the speed of sound. He felt the need. The need for speed. Alexa, what's the time? Good morning, Crystal. It's 8.31 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Thursday the 14th of November. It's King Charles' birthday today. Alexa, how old is King Charles? King Charles III is turning 76 years old today. Happy birthday, King Charles III. Alexa, what's the t time? The time is 8.32 a.m. Alexa, what is the weather outlook? In Rochester, it's 8 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Today, you can expect lots of clouds, with a high of 12 degrees and a low of 5 degrees. And Alexa, Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include <coughs> eldest son and heir apparent of Queen Elizabeth II King Charles III, American Republican politician, U.S. Secretary of State, political scientist Condoleezza Rice, American actor Patrick Warburton, British newsreader Katty Kay, and Bella McLean. So it's Great Britain's King Charles III's birthday today. He's 76. She's 20 years older than myself. She's 20 years older than me. So, good morning everyone. I have managed to get up this morning, despite some terrible bullying this week. Unnecessary bullying. All I do is stay in my flat and be quiet. And this bullying just causes trouble, upsets me, makes me feel awful, um, which doesn't accomplish, it does, they don't accomplish anything, neither do I, so I don't know why they just don't stop it. If you get my drift, it's really silly. Um, it, you know, it gives me stress. Obviously, my heart burns come back with a vengeance and I have to keep swallowing Gaviscon. Um, 
stress makes conditions worse. And it's not like life-threatening conditions, but heartburn can be really, really uncomfortable. It can be painful. Um, it can spoil your day. Just good, which is a really, really bad form of heartburn. It can spoil your day. It feels like your whole insides are burning. And stress makes it worse. And I was keeping it, managing it under control. Uh, and um, a couple of days ago, I got picked on again. I didn't shout at the woman, but it stressed me out. And it makes conditions worse. Um, going back to yesterday... I mean, anyone that's being gang stalked, stalked, or they've got an ex-partner stalking them, or whatever, knows how it, how it makes you feel. Yeah, like your every move is being watched. You get a bit paranoid. You think everybody's like you know up to something, and that that's understandable. But I think I've proved that that what is going on that you'll have, I'll have a conversation in my flat with my mother, privately, I'll go outside and they are mimicking the call I've just had with my mum and they used to do it at my old flat because I've got a diary, the neighbour, when my son used to come round and talk to me, the neighbours would mimic both of our, our voices. See you later, bye, love you. So, it makes you feel awful, right? It does. And why would they want to imitate like that? What, what benefit does it give them mim mimicking me and my family? I, I, you know, it makes you, you feel like, oh, I don't want to go outside, you know. I, I don't, it spoils your life and that's what they want to do. So yesterday I spoke to my mum before I went out and she said take care to me, went up the road towards the field to walk my dog and this bloke is like taking the piss, s sat outside the car on the phone with his baseball cap on, take care, um, it's been going on for ages and if they find my phone calls interesting, because I don't, I'm just talking to my mum. It's beyond me. They think that that is going to rile me up, make me angry, start being stupid. And I've grown out of that. I know what they're doing. I don't give a shit about any of them. I'm not interested in their conversations. I'm not interested in them. And then they're nasty and they're spiteful. Because they look like they're stood on the corner... Right, they they do that, and, and then they suddenly mm, 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 and walk off. See, so I just that is why I'm ignoring them all. Just completely ignoring them, and if they ignore me, that's Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. Thank you. <clears throat> Yesterday was pretty boring. I was indoors. I took walk Max for a walk in the morning. <clears throat> All I was expecting was a parcel from Amazon, which was my corn plasters or blister, blister plasters, where I walk the dog so much on that field especially in the wet weather conditions, my trainers and socks rub up against each other and it causes friction, blisters. So I've got, I've got one on, my, on the side of my toe now and even though I've got the plaster on, it still hurts like hell. Friction from your shoes. Um, the shoes, the quality of the shoes have gone downhill and the boots and everything. 
I don't know what's going on, but everything in Great Britain, the quality and the value for money is non-existent. So lunchtime, I stayed indoors till lunchtime. You know, you amuse yourself. The, the WhatsApper that's trying to blackmail me for photographs, I told you they've gone for now. They, they, they've gone. So they're trying to make me feel horrible about my body about me they think they're going to get photographs they think i need to prove that i'm okay and i, I won't go up to anybody I, they're not getting any photographs so it's absolutely it's stopped for now but you, it won't they'll start again you'll get a random message with a fake profile hello how are you today can we go over to whatsapp and then they'll start again because they're sick and unhinged and not well. They're having a relationship with me in their heads. They've been doing that for over 10 years. They, they think they're with me, although I'm on my own with absolutely nobody. Inside their head, they think they're having a relationship with me. Right? They do. haven't met this person I've been single for eight years eight years and then I'll get a message where are you where are you going what are you wearing what business is it to anybody I'm on my own so I'm locked up in a weird relationship I am it feels like I'm locked up with a non-existent person I've said to them before, I've said, why can't I see you? What, you know, I'm tired of talking to a phone. I don't want to go on to WhatsApp. Who are you? I don't get any sense out of them. So I'm just stuck indoors all day, every day by myself, which I really love now. I love it. I could do what I like good um so i stayed indoors um, um i got some mail a delivery driver rings the buzzer for number seven you see numbers are irrelevant numbers um i i'm nowhere near number seven nowhere near number seven at all number seven is on a different floor it's not my neighbour. Um, ringing parcels for people that aren't even near me. Um, you know, I'll be sat down doing something or I'll be snoozing on the sofa and they ring the buzzer, wake me up or whatever. Uh, for what? For what? For no reason at all, just to be a nuisance. Um, they don't ring the buzzer for parcels for me they ring parcels when it's for somebody else which is absolutely stupid um i went out lunchtime and they've started the um the snooty business i call it being snooty being stuck up like they've got a smell under their nose you walk walk past you're all happy um i'd said hello to the cleaner yesterday morning i'd smiled and said good morning to the cleaner so in the afternoon mm, mm, mm. you see if i talk to someone i get punished if i smile at someone mm, mm, mm. you wouldn't believe it but it's true if I go out with somebody, my Christ, do they play up. They play up. They say things behind your back when you're walking with somebody. Oh, what's that? What is it? What is it? What's that? I've had that behind my back. When I'm out walking with a male member, of the, a male member, like I'm going out on a date or something, I've had... Like a bitch behind my back. 
What's that? What is it? Whoa! That's meant to annoy me and to leave the bloke. That's what that's meant to do. And I don't, because I know what they're up to. And this one woman, she followed me about from where I sat and had the dates and a sandwich with the bloke. Cause she followed me from there <coughs> right up to where nearly going home, saying things behind my back. And that's how bad it is when I go out with a chap. So I don't want to put the bloke through it. I don't. I don't want to put the bloke through it. If I go out with a bloke, I don't want to put the bloke through it. And all the neighbours are usually ready and waiting as well to be a nuisance. They are. So if I, I haven't ever brought a chap back to this flat. I've lived here four years. But when I was at my other flat, the woman downstairs would be rude to my visitors. Rude to them. Um, on one instance, um, one of my boys was just leaning on the windowsill. Get off my windowsill. And um, my son said, it's not your windowsill, it belongs to the council, which is true. Get off my windowsill. And then every time I brought someone back, she'd fling the door open. Did you say something about me? And no, they hadn't. Oh, you said the word shit. And he went, I'm very sorry, but I actually tripped and I went, shit, sorry. She was listening by the front door. They go mad when you have, when you have a visitor to your flat. They go crazy. So now I've got nobody. I'm in my flat on my own with nobody. No, no one. And then she comes out the other day and tries to start something. What the? I mean, it's laughable, right? I mean, it's laughable. But when you are trying to get in your front door and you're so fucking nervous, oh my god, oh my god, and this woman is just stood there, oh, the dog's raining on the leash. Uh, I mean, fuck off. Go away. I didn't get cross. I need another person. People tell me, you're too soft, Crystal, you're too soft. And in a way I am, because I don't think anybody else would have fucking stood for that. I just stood there with my back turned to her. Oh, what can you do? Stood there like a dummy, she was. I've told her to go away. Can you leave me alone? Go away. I'm not interested in you. I don't want your picture. Go away. So it was quiet for quite a while and it started again two days ago and it's made me feel ill and I can't wait to get out of this place and I'm not the only one going through this, right? I am a woman, right? And to get a female harassing you, a woman, is, is, feels weird. Um, but I'm a woman and I'm on dating sites and it says female looking for a man. Right? So why are women looking at me as if I'm shit and being nasty to me when I'm doing nothing to them at all? Nothing. I just sit in my flat on my own all day long. If I go out on a date, then I have to be prepared for it to be like some kind of evil, uh, evil fucking... Oh, I'm, made, I'm made to feel guilty. I'm going out with a bloke. Oh, dear. So for eight years, there's been no one. No one at all. No one. Nothing. I'm living here on my own for the past eight years. I got divorced after I left my husband. I left him. 
<coughs> my life went down the pan. I was homeless. I, I picked myself up. I started again more than once. And I thought when I came to this place, I'd finally be left alone. But fuck me. No. What do you do to have to get rid of them? What do you do? I, Charlie I shouted at, I said, I don't keep away from me. You don't live here and keep away from me. And then he stopped. My ex, who was treating me like shit, I said, don't ring my buzzer. Don't text me. Leave me alone. That stopped. He didn't. He stopped. The other ones stopped now i've got this from a woman you have to tell them to to their face leave me alone Anyway, guys, it's a dreary, wet day in here in Rochester. And um, let's hope things improve. See you later.